Hey, if you've ever been affected by, you know, I want, I want to say depression, but man, like I'm about as positive as, as they come, right? Like I, I, I'm about as motivated as they come. And so I don't like to think of it as depression, but yo, if you, if you've been affected by depression or if you've been, if you've had like this, uh, I want to say like this inner dialogue that has just been mentally, physically, and, and, and just, man, I mean, just draining as fuck. I'm talking about like, you know, you're, you're trying to do things to keep yourself motivated. You're trying to do things to kind of kickstart your energy and start that momentum um but then you know it dwindles down and so you're kind of like reaching out for other things to kind of put you back on that boost and uh and i got something to share with you you know i went to um you know if you if you recall through any of these the, those of you who've been following me you know over the last uh, uh i want to say a couple of months now i've been kind of just on this on this leave of absence from kind of going so hard and going to the gym so hard and uh and a lot of it has to do with um you know what what i believe was was a heart condition and you know it started actually around november of last year and uh it happened because i fainted you know i actually fainted in front of my family my wife thought i fucking died it was crazy i didn't necessarily faint like i passed out i just i just you know collapsed and so anyway um my doctor thought it was because of just lack of sleep because I go hard, you know, I, I go like five hours, six hours of sleep sometimes, sometimes even four. <clears throat> and so uh, they did a bunch of tests and they came out across and was like, hey, you know, you, you have this heart condition where one of your valves only has uh, one doorway or one pa passage and it's supposed to have two. And so, you know, anyway, long story short is we, we thought it was that and and uh, it progressively got worse where I would start to get these like these panic attacks, these anxiety attacks, right? Like real bad, real bad, bro. And uh, and so I'm, I met with a doctor and, and there's they just basically came down to the point of like, hey, man, you got signs of depression. And they tried to give me like Prozac, Zoloft and, and these anti, um, uh, uh, what is it? Anxiety pills, right? I don't like them though, man. Like it, it puts me just on this zone where I'm not I'm not in control. Um, and it, it just, it makes me kind of feel like zombied out. Like, you know, I'm like on this real good buzz, <laughs> right? But you know, I don't know. I just, I don't mix well with it. So I don't take them. And what I can't get out of my mind is that they're saying that I got signs of depression. I'm like, Hey man, you know, you know, so I did some research. My wife did some research and go figure, bro. It's, it's common. It's real fucking common right now. This, this depression thing. And, uh, and so I read an article about like how, you know, in, in today's society, more so, uh, the younger, younger uh, generations are becoming more depressing. And it's just because this constant, constant juggling of data and trying to live up to expectations. And so, you know, I'm a thinker, I'm an analyzer in case you haven't noticed. And so I want to share with you if you personally have gone through these kind of these emotion, these emotional roller coasters, or if you've been diagnosed as what they call depressive, um, or try to give you some depression pills, and, and whether you take them or not, that's your prerogative. But I want to share with you at least my two cents on the idea. Because you know what, I think I figured it out. And if I can help you get past that mental state, then I know I'm doing you real good. Because when we get in that mental state, that shit is horrible. And I want to uh, I want to help you climb out. So follow me. My team came from the bottom on the rise, yeah God, please don't get me lost in this ride, yeah With the sleep, I had a dream of that fish, girl Woke up, then put it right on the street at retail What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel, and I'm your host. And on this episode, I'm gonna get real with you. Man, you know, like, like I just mentioned, you know, depression is a very very common topic it's a it's a common diagnosis especially in today's uh day and age where you know technology rules all and you now have access to a plethora of information a plethora of examples of what ideal is supposed to be and so you know not everybody is perfect however and on every single social media channel or influencer that you follow, all you seem to see is the highlight reel. And so I believe that is it. That's the ultimate reason of, uh, of why we are classified as quote unquote depression, <laughs> depressive. 
man, I hope that's a word. You know, they try to diagnose you with depression or give you these depression pills or anti-depression pills. And, you know, deep inside, man, I feel it strongly in my heart that I'm not depressed, man. I'm blessed. I'm happy. But what I can tell you is I'm focused. What I can tell you is that I'm on the motherfucking mission. What I can tell you, and if you agree with me too, then guess what? You don't got to be diagnosed as depressive because these damn doctors, bro, like that, it's a fucking business, man. Like they just, you know, it's a, it's a line. It's a line of people like they trying to rush you through the, the whole interview. They don't want to hear what your problem is, what they're trying to do. They're just like loan officers and shit quickly going through leads and they're going to get paid regardless. You know what I mean? Like the insurance company is going to pay them regardless. And so they're just quickly looking to give a diagnosis. And so since they're incentivized to kind of panhandle these drugs and dish out these drugs, I don't think they have the, the common sense to actually really look into it. But more importantly, they're not the specialist within that motherfucking craft. And so if your general doctor says, hey, man, I think you're depressed. Motherfucker, you ain't no psychologist, bro. <laughs> like, OK, here, here, this is the reason why I think a lot of us get diagnosed as being in a depressive state or de having depression. It's because if you take a step back and you really analyze and this is a movie called Matrix where, you know, after he I think it was the yellow pill or the red pill whatever he took it and he followed the white rabbit right and and like he you know he saw everything in code what he was doing was he was seeing everything for what it is man that movie now that i look at it as an adult it has so many meanings has so many real purposes of it if you've never seen the movie i invite you to check it out some pretty fucking trippy shit but anyway the 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 whole the the point is that when he started seeing code when he started seeing things for what it is it's kind of like you know what we could do when we take a step back and really analyze people's true motives and i'm not saying you know fake it till you make it is bad for you but what i am saying is that nine a lot of us i'm about to say 99 percent shit fuck it 99 percent of of us in some to some degree we do fake it till we make it we do um give off this impression because it is natural to want to be liked Right, it is human nature to want to be like some people. Just don't got that shit in their brain, so they don't give a fuck if they're liked or not. And some we, some of us call them authentic. <laughs> we call them real AF. You know what I mean? But ultimately, what they're doing is deep down inside they want to be liked. Anyway, we all have this this common goal of wanting to be liked. It's the whole purpose of us wanting to be good at what we do. It's the whole purpose of us wanting to get money. It's the whole purpose of us wanting to buy that one thing. It's the whole purpose of us driving what we drive or hoping to drive what we will soon drive or live where we soon will live. You know, there's all these common things that we that we aim aim for and we're trying to get to that higher level and so now if you mix in technology you're just seeing all these highlight reels right and there you go with the highlight reels again you're seeing examples of how it could be and so anyway after you take a step back and you really kind of see the it, it what it what things are for what they are and you see how people will give that smirk or you know some people are genuine you know what i mean i give credit to that some people are just naturally happy but then there are a lot of people who just give you that kind of just that fake that fake smile shit i'm guilty of it too you know when i'm keeping it moving i'm focused i'm gonna give that fake smile boo boo no doubt i'm gonna see you in the hallway and be like hey and then just kind of go like that real quick <laughs> Just because we're focused, man, it doesn't mean that we're depressed. We're depressed. It doesn't mean that that we have like these mental disorders, right? What it does mean, though, is that your reality is not matching what your what your inner dialogue says. And, and I'm gonna tell you right now, that's a good thing, because if you didn't care, then you wouldn't have you wouldn't give off the impression that you were depressed. You wouldn't give off the motivation to get better and to do better and to create more for yourself. Because there are people, man, I see hippies all day long, bro. Like they don't give a fuck. And and what I'm saying is that hey man, to each his own, like if that if that makes you happy, rock on, boo boo. You know, you rock that. You rock that lifestyle, but I, I'm I'm cut from a different thread. Like I want I want the nice things in life. Like you got one life, bro. Like you make this motherfucker experience. You make this experience memory full. Get it? And so now you know produce on the layers of like having a family, having kids, and 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 of course like we we are always going to compare ourselves in our current state to others. And and the common saying, the common advice is 
you know, never try to keep up with the Joneses, right? I'm not trying to keep up with the Joneses. I'm trying to be the motherfucking Joneses. Get it? And so it's okay to feel like that. But what happens when you get diagnosed this way? Does it mean that you should accept it and be like, oh man, there's something wrong with me and kind of sulk in the corner? No, man, fuck that. You know, because if you allow that to happen, then what's going to happen is you're going to allow everyone else's opinion fuck with your goal. And here's the thing, is that what, what I've learned from growing up throughout the many years is not everyone's going to understand you. Not everyone's going to be on your level. And so at times, people are going to think you're passive. At times, people are going to think you pop pills. And you're going you're gonna to hear about this shit and you'll be like, the fuck? Man, are you serious? <laughs> and it's because they don't understand you. And people naturally, when they don't understand things, they try to judge it. They try to give it a quick uh, name. Because that's just what we do, right? We try to solve. We try to solve problems all day long. And there's a lot of times we'll, we'll misjudge. I misjudge all the time. I thought it was one way when it was definitely far from. And so, like, you know, me from personal experience, people will, you know, may call me passive. Well, at the end of the day, boo boo, anyone in sales in today's modern society needs to be passive. You can't, you know what I mean? You need to be passive. Like you're gonna get, you're gonna get beat up a lot by prospects. You gotta act the part. You gotta, you know what I mean? You gotta uh, uh, be kind of just, you know, swayzy with it. And so, and so, people are also gonna think that you're mad or you're depressed or you're angry. And it's probably because your facial expressions just show a sign of being focused. You know, like when you hold yourself accountable and you hold yourself to a higher regard and you see others not doing the same for themselves or you see potential out there that's just not being tapped or you see people out there that just chooses not to hustle as hard as you, that's going to get to you. And the challenge is though, is how do you not let it get to you? And it's hard, right? The, the, the real, I would say that the, the best possible way to do it is just focus on your own paper, boo boo. And so when you focus on your own paper, guess what they're going to say? They're going to say you're introverted. Guess what? Guess what happens when you just focus on yours and your mission to protect you and your camp? Guess what they're going to say? They're going to say you're passive. They're going to say that uh, that uh, uh, you're an introvert, that you pop pills or some bullshit like that. You know, like you you on this in this haze. And I want you to know right now that whatever they say, whatever they think, I don't want that to to interfere with your plan, your desire. I want you to do you. You know, like if, if some doctor said, hey, man, this is wrong with you, that's their fucking opinion, boo boo. Right. If, if you if you right now are being affected by what other people think, I promise you it's fucking up your 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 momentum. It's fucking up your energy. And you'll know this is happening to you because you you when you do something like let's just say get dressed for the day. Your your impression is not how it makes you feel, but how other people will like it. That's number one. That's sign number one. Like, man, will my friends like this? Will they think I look cool? No, man, fuck that, bro. Like, you got to be like, hey, how does this shit make me feel? You know, does this represent me? And that's where it, you know, that's different than the selling information or selling advice that I give you all day long where I like serve, serve, serve. Like, now I'm telling you look inward. Now I'm telling you to be about you. But what I'm talking about is is you have to you have to man the ship. You get it? You got to you got to maintain the vessel. You got to fucking do maintenance on the motherfucking ship you're driving. And sometimes that ship you're driving, people are going to be like, "Yo, man, that's, you know what I mean? Like, why couldn't you've had a Bentley? Why couldn't your ship be a motherfucking Bentley?" People are just going to judge, and you just let them judge cuz they spend in their fucking time wasting on judging, trying to diagnose, you know, what they believe is a motherfucking problem. But ain't no problem here, boo-boo. You know, if you are on a mission to get yourself to a higher playing field, if you are so focused you come off as passive aggressive or if you are so focused on getting yours where they think you're an introvert they think that you are upset or mad just because you got the look of focus then let them think that boo boo because you know what it means it means eyes are on you and you know why eyes are on you because you're the motherfucking example in your motherfucking scenery bro so i want to salute you for that high five you to that and i'm the last motherfucker to say that you're depressed what i'm what i'm saying is that you're on your way and you're gonna fucking make it we both gonna make it and i'm gonna see you there 
Boo boo. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Hope I don't get lost in this million dollar vault. I don't want to take a loss. You don't want to get involved. Hope I don't get lost. Hope I don't get lost.